Okay, so modeling part two. At this point, we need to chop off this part of her face and delete it. Okay, next we need to fix this edge loop. Okay, let's switch. I'm going to switch back to my solid material to show you what this looks like. Basically, what I have is an edge loop that dead ends right here at the nose. But we all know that the, the nose has this bulbous area and does not dead end here. You can almost see that in the back view where the edge loops start to go down. So what I want to do here is take this edge and get rid of it. So I highlight the mesh edge and very important, go up here and delete edge vertex. Just like that. Okay, so what I need to do now is basically go in here and insert an edge loop or wait this one split poly and split the poly from here to here just like that um yeah there we go we're not real estate here okay there we go now oh, what i want to do is see this is a one two three four five so what i want to do here is split it here to here Okay, let's go into my perspective view. And I can run this all the way down. And what I want to do is just run it to probably her neck area, which sooner or later is going to be hollow because I would have to add a body. So I'm going to end it right about here. Just like that. This area won't matter because later on I'm going to end up cutting it out. Okay, there we go. So that is how you repair that. Now, if we want to mirror it to the other side, we hit D as in dog, V as in Victor, and this should allow me to move this pivot point. Now, it wants to be stubborn. There we go, D, V. And it will snap to the corner where I can then mirror it with this duplicate special square box and go in here, hit negative X. I can know that because I have an X, the, the red arrow. And I'm going to show you what we, else we need to do. Okay, because of the model and how it is, right now, the two, um, because of the nose area in here, if I just stitch these two together, I would never have a really good nose. Okay, I would need more geometry in order to happen. Another thing is, up here, I wouldn't have a very good bridge. Okay, because it's ending into the skull. So let me show you a trick here. So I'm going to delete that, go into my side view. Okay, I'm going to move this out just a little bit. I'm going to go into edge mode, grab all the edges. Okay, and then I'm holding control and deselecting the edges just in this view. See, that leaves only edges these highlighted all the way around the mesh. I can extrude it, move it, and move them out. Very good. This will allow me to have the geometry needed for the good edge loops to appear once I mirror it over. So D is in dog, V is in Victor, and I move this back to the center where I can then apply the new duplicate go in here, mesh combine them, make sure wireframes on shaded is on. That way when I go edit mesh, merge edge tool, I can see these darker lines appearing. These darker lines tell me that they need to be stitched. So I just triple click in the area with my left mouse button. Triple click. Just like that, going all the way around. Okay, perfect. So now you have the very 
a very good start to the head. And let's go into our front view and see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to introduce a new video here so I can save space on YouTube.